Hello everyone, Toga Virtual here. Welcome back to another video. And this video, I'm going to show off my Rex Skyforce 3D settings for P3D V5. I've had a lot of people um, ask me for those in, based on my previous uh, video when I did my P3D V5 settings. If you want to watch that video, you can go and back watch that now. But what I'm going to do is just run through um, the settings that I have, obviously, because I don't use Active Sky. I use Active Sky, sorry, for my weather engine. Just use Rex Skyforce for my clouds. Um, a lot of people um, are asking why and I'm just sort of going to go and try and run through as much as possible and, and why I I use Rex and, and, why, and what settings I have for that. So um, so yeah, so let's uh, get on with it really. So um, for a while I've, uh, I've, I've toyed with the idea of using uh, P3D um, Enhanced Atmospherics um, in the sim and uh, it, it looks great, don't get me wrong, but uh, the cloud texturing the cloud layers themselves especially when you're in the air look um, like you're flying on top of waffles it just all crisscrossy and doesn't look great uh, one good thing with our enhanced atmospherics is that it makes your sim look incredibly beautiful it looks amazing but again i don't know if i could that's justified of having really you know not very good clouds so what i decided to do was to bite the bullet and go back to rex skyforce rex skyforce is only not too long ago been released for p3d v5 um, as obviously before they hadn't supported it and all you could use really was asker asker clouds are great don't get me wrong i've used asker clouds in the past but i just find sky uh, rex skyforce is so much better um, in terms of cloud layering and cloud uh, does the clouds just look nice they look like almost real you know you, they look good clouds they're well modeled etc etc so um like i say that's the main reason why i'm on um, rex and i'm using rex so i thought i'd just run through the settings that i have if you guys sort of want to copy them and you want to do the same as me but use active sky as your weather engine and rex for just your clouds then obviously this is the perfect video for you so let's just jump right in and uh, i'll show you what i've done here we go then we're in the um uh, main general tab is pretty self-explanatory re really um this is the first sort of tab obviously i've got my p3d v5 location saved and uh, the only other thing in here is i've changed the application sound enabled application sounds and switched that off if you've looked back at my other videos about active uh, asker or um active sky you'll see that i've done the same thing i, I turn those off because it's just it ruins my ears when i uh, open them up for the first time everything else here i don't touch and then straight over to engine so in this is where i don't use rex for my weather engine i use uh, active sky for my weather engine so make sure every box in here is switched off otherwise you're going to get conflicts with uh with, with weathers and stuff so make sure everything in here is switched off and then uh, that's all you need to do in here coming over to clouds then so these are as default out of the box i don't think i've changed any of these settings so these are just how they are you know cloud turbulence settings etc etc just default rex um coming over to wind turbulence and uh, wind shear settings these are all set to default um i don't haven't touched any of these um again because the weather engine isn't on these really don't get affected you could effectively turn those off it doesn't really matter and then over to vis visibility then um I think this is defaulted off maybe uh, i can't really remember now so make sure that is checked and again everything else um is uh is default off coming over to install then so this is a bit um this is something that i've sort of changed i obviously got 3d cloud textures and um a cairo, cairo type cloud textures sorry uh lighting textures and special effects moon textures and sun slash flare textures and special effects all switched off now you'll see here that i've got sky textures all off now i've actually got um and i'll if you want me to do a video on this there is a um i put the link in the description uh some uh guy called pascal has actually made uh sky textures for p3d v5 and basically it's a whole whole uh, different array of sky textures that you can drag and drop into your sim so they're defaulted ones that he's made um and you can chop and change as and when. So I turn sky textures off in here just because I don't want the sky textures being rendered by Rex. I want it to be rendered by what I'm putting into the sim. 
myself from a, a third party so if you want me to do that video then drop me down a comment down below and say yes i want to see it and then once i know many of you have said that i will make another video on how to install those and where to get them from sound effects all that good stuff rain thunder wind etc etc that's all switched on as default so leave that as is coming over to uh, text resolution then i think these are switched off and i have set my uh, resolutions to uh, 1024 uh, for all three of these i'm not going hd because again it just uh, it affects performance and um yeah it, like i say if you want to look back at my p3 dv5 settings you'll see that i've done a video on visual uh performance over visuals so i want to have the best performance i can get in the sim but i don't want it to be affected by what the sim looks like and how it works and how it performs etc etc and finally then hdr um, this is all default no uh, no qualms not touched any of those and uh, yeah, it's all just uh, default out of the box rec. So very simple then, um, you come over to the uh, cloud, 3D cloud model structures, just make sure you bang that in install button. Everything else really stays as is, you can copy these settings, but again, I think these are literally just as they come out of the box. Hit install now, let it do what it needs to do. I'm not gonna do it because obviously I have it, everything installed, but once you've just done that, hit install, it'll say, do you wanna install it? Yes, damn, it'll go up at the top, you'll see a green box say it's complete and that's uh, that job done. And then it's down to your imagination what clouds you want. Uh, I run with uh, cloud uh, clouds, uh, 3D clouds of three. And uh, the I, I uh, use number five, the Nuance uh, Cairo type cloud, clouds. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sky textures, I can say I don't touch because I'm putting the sky textures in uh, myself. Uh, sun... I'm also using uh, I'm using parallax uh, number six for my sun moon phases I'm using silver bullet number three and uh, lightning strike I'm just using the first one and sounds I've not actually got any sounds selected um, at this moment in time um, just just because I just choose not to you can choose whatever ones you like but the beginning guys another really quick video just to go through the settings i have for a rec skyforce 3d if you've liked the video please give it a big thumbs up and if you're not yet a subscriber to the channel and you would like to do so please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on notification bell keep up to date with all the new videos that i'll be releasing in the coming weeks and months i've been Tiger virtual thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one